Well, hey y'all, welcome to the video. The uh, trucks are up here high and dry for the moment. We got a, maybe a three or four inches to spare right now before the water comes up here. But uh, yeah, what an interesting start to the video today. Hey y'all, it's, uh, it's a couple days later. Got a little issue I'm working through on the uh, 09. And, uh, hang on one second, just putting this wrench down. Let's go inside. We got windshield washer. Let's do a little demo here. What the windshield washer is doing on this truck. So I just refilled the washer fluid on it. Alright, here goes... Didn't even blow any there. There we go, got a little bit. Not much. It's uh, something's uh, it's clogged or something. So we're gonna pull the wheel well off and you should be able to access the uh, little electric pump. And we'll see just what that looks like. I have no clue what I'm getting into here, but I think I should be able to figure it out on the fly. All right, wheel well's down. And here's what we got. So the green stuff in it, that's our windshield washer. We got electrical connector here. This is our low wash fluid sensor. Got another electrical connector that goes into the, the pump. So this will end up pumping through the line here and that goes up across basically, well, I don't have the hood open, but it goes across the crossover cable for your batteries pretty much. And then runs along the passenger side and up into those things. So the key is uh, take this thing off and see uh, see what we can find in there. I think there's a little screen or a filter or something in there that's probably clogged up with junk. All right, so what we got going on here is I've just popped it off a little bit and it's draining down into this bucket. And uh, don't pull it all the way out or there's going to be a fountain of, of uh, washer fluid shooting up. So I've just got it off a little bit, got it under control, and then uh, I can see it starting to uh, lower levels coming down. So it won't take long. It holds about a gallon. When that's drained, I'll be able to uh, mess around with it a little bit more. Okay, here we got the whole thing disconnected. And what I want to draw attention to is this bottom. Let me see if I can focus. Come on, focus. This bottom piece. It is uh, a little bit slimy. It's clogged up with some slimy material. Look at that. You can see there is a screen there. Good God, come on, focus. I'm doing my best with the focus on the camera, but uh, yes, this is the obvious problem because it was completely clogged up with that slime. And when I had run the uh, windshield fluid basically all the way down, it probably sucked all that stuff up from the bottom of the tank. So when I went to refill it, we ended up with a major clog in here. The gasket's in pretty good shape. So, all that's needed now is to uh, place this thing back in, and it just slides right in like that. There it is. That's it. And then, of course, refill my uh, fluid here. We lost a little bit, but uh, I'm going to fill it up and show you all how it is now. So, it's probably a good idea to flush out your windshield washer bottle every now and then. All that junk in there that's at the bottom of this bucket came out of there so I'm not going to even try to pour the rest of that in um, up here what I have reused I've filtered through some paper towels so uh, it's probably best to just go get some some more washer fluid it definitely uh, is a good idea maybe even run a garden hose through here for a little bit here goes the uh, test fire there we go Much better. 
lot better actually. Makes it probably three quarters of the way up the windshield now. Whereas before it was it was falling short of the windshield wipers pretty much. So that was the problem right there, clogged up screen on the on the pump. So if you're having this problem and you're you can hear your motor still trying to run, that'd be the first thing to check. It took me about ten minutes tops to uh check that out and have it fixed. So also if you're wondering the truck survived the flood, they stayed up on this slab and stayed high and dry. They didn't even get their tires wet, although that water almost came up on top of the slab. But uh, yeah, close call there. I think that's going to be it for me in this one. I'll see y'all in the next video.